Hello everyone. This is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. The Bible says in Proverbs 6 verse 9, How long will thou sleep, O sluggard? When will thou arise out of thy sleep? Friends, it is true that God gives his beloved sleep, but there is such a thing as spiritual sleep. This is a very dangerous type of sleep. When a Christian that used to be on fire for God suddenly becomes lukewarm, he is sleeping spiritually. When a brethren is in a state of backsliding, he is sleeping spiritually. Unfortunately, our adversary, the devil, takes full advantage of this. The Bible tells us that while men slept, the enemy sowed tears among his wheat. This is in Matthew 13 verse 25. The Bible tells us, A great and effectual door is open unto me, and there are many adversaries. God may have given you a tremendous breakthrough and then you got comfortable and went to sleep spiritually this can open the door for the enemy to attack that breakthrough may that not be a portion as soon as god gives you a breakthrough you should pray more than you did before because guess what the devil is running to and fro seeking whom to devour or rather whose breakthrough to kill, steal, and destroy. That will not be a portion in Jesus' mighty name. This is why, as children of the Most High, we need to be sober and vigilant. We need to be watchful. We need to be like the children of Issachar that had an understanding of the times and the seasons, as written 1 Chronicle 12, 32. The Bible tells us not to give sleep to our eyes. Proverbs 6, 4 says, Give not sleep to thine eyes, nor slumber to thine eyelids. If we look closely at the scripture in Proverbs 6, verse 10 to 11, we will find that there is a correlation between sleep and poverty. Proverbs 6, 10, 11 say, 10 to 11 says, Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep, so shall thy poverty come as one that travail, and thy want as an armed man. That will not be a portion in Jesus' name. It, this same thing is repeated again in Proverbs 23, verse 33 to 34. It says, Yet yeah, a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the arms to sleep, so shall thy poverty come as one that travaileth and thy one as an armed man. Again, I repeat, that will not be our portion in Jesus' mighty name. The fact is that many Christians are physically sleeping when they should be praying. The powers of the night and the evil spirits operate in the night between the hours of 12 midnight and 3 a.m. Unfortunately, this is when many Bible quoting tongue speaking christians are in wawa land or slumber land friends i know this is not easy as i minister to you i minister to myself also i also need god's grace in this area but i i know it's a good thing to develop a habit of getting up to pray at night if only for 15 minutes yes it is possible all things are possible to him that believe where there is a will there is a way this is so that while the enemy is going to and fro seeking whom to devour we should also be calling upon the holy ghost fire to raise a standard against him and his cohorts here's another strategy since this is the technology age it won't it will not hurt hurt, hurt to have an online Bible playing all through the night. This could be from our smartphone or iPads or tablets. 
The word of God is powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Let us saturate the atmosphere of our homes with the word of God and anointed music. Friends, it's time that we arise out of our slumber. Isaiah 52 verse 1 to 2 says, Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city. For henceforth there shall, there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Shake thyself from the dust. Arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. Friends, God gives his beloved sleep. May your sleep be sweet. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that God will wake us up from every form of spiritual sleep. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that the Holy Ghost fire will consume every tear that the enemy may have sown among our wheat while we slept. Be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. I will see you in my next video. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button to your right. Be blessed in Jesus' mighty name.